this is not regarding an individual fight uh, or the sympathetic wave for an individual or someone else the core issue should the, this constituency should have to debate is regarding the development issue what are the challenges being faced by the people of pudupalli the people of kerala even they are forced to say that once if we are going to be elected as the representative of this constituency the primary importance shall be given to settle the issue of drinking water because that much scarcity of drinking water is here not only from drinking water while we analyze the structure of roads they are not even up to the mark um, if you call for a rented car or an auto rickshaw for a ride to hospital uh, they will say oh uh, to that road we won't come it will harm a vehicle if you go through the history you can find the facts with facts and figures you can analyze whether his uh, dialogue or his response is factual or not factual it was during the pressure of that ldf government that the present uh, rajiv gandhi institute has been grown up to the present level and even during this instance uh, i think a year before the present ldf government had allotted new courses had allotted new uh, buildings for the hostel and for the education block just a few more days left for the much awaited pudupalli by election and i'm joined by none other than the left democratic front candidate jake c thomas jake uh, while i was speaking to the left supporters most of them were saying this by election is all about development versus sympathy what do you have to say about that at the very first instance after the official uh, declaration of uh, the candidates of left democratic front uh, i myself while addressing the mainstream media houses here in kerala uh, i had called for a debate yeah uh, let's talk about, let's let's have a friendly debate regarding the core developments happened in pudupalli and uh, regarding the things regarding the lifestyle uh, related things of the people over here pudupalli but that uh, invitation for a friendly debate regarding the development process of pudupalli has been mercilessly rejected by the udf candidate then uh, we had uh, not uh, we we are not ready to drop the real issue of development Uh, at the every instance especially after the official declaration of our candidate uh, on our public meetings on our election gatherings regarding the family meets at booth level at local level at zonal parts at all the uh, rank and file process of the this by election we had raised the single issue that is nothing else but the development process happened in pudupalli whether it was up to the mark uh, while comparing with the neighbor constituencies even in kotta which is being ruled by uh, udf and ldf rep- representatives uh, which, uh, while comparing with uh, other constituencies what is the benchmark of pudupalli what are some of the issues that ldf is raising this time around because uh, we we heard that one of the issues that you are raising is drinking water problem and over the last uh, five decades where when uman chandi was the mla from pudupalli what do you think has not been done according to you what is lacking in pudupalli uh, actually not only the drinking water but Uh, if you go and ask with the uh, several candidates uh, a pattern alike from the udf and ldf even to the independent candidates even they are forced to say that once if we are going to be elected as the representative of this constituency the primary importance shall be given to settle the issue of drinking water because that much scarcity of drinking water is here uh, in pudupalli constituency if you go with the eight gram panchayats uh, ranging from vagathanam to ayakunam or agalakunam pudupalli or even in manargad you can see uh, intense scarcity of drinking water and it is nothing else but uh, but because of the lack of caring this constituency not only from drinking water while we analyze the structure of roads they are not even up to the mark um, if you call for a rented car or an auto rickshaw for a ride to hospital uh, they will say oh uh, to that road we won't come it will harm a vehicle that much bad the situation of this of that road so uh, from the uh, from the drinking water issue the scarcity of drinking water the situation of roads uh, ranging to the employability things ranging to the um, what we call the uh, the present situation of the government offices if you go through, through the constituency uh, and see how the village offices how the excise office how the krishi bhavan they all have a nominal room one or two room they are struggling in that room pudupalli is a single constituency which doesn't have a mini civil station mm. as your question says uh, this constituency had a uh, big history of uh, 53 years of congress regime but a single mini station is not here uh, from drinking water regarding the roads regarding the 
uh, lack of municipal station such and such things uh, there are several issues um, make the uh, development uh, make the debate regarding the development when you speak about the debates regarding development today i was speaking to the uds candidate who said that you know he is willing to participate in a debate if you talk about the institutions that they brought in for example he was quoting rajiv gandhi institute of technology and uh, kr narayan film institute which he says that the cpm or ldf was against uh, in this <laughs> uh, if you go through the history you can find the facts with facts and figures you can analyze whether his uh, dialogue or his response is factual or not factual um, uh, i had told you that on the initial stage i had called for a friendly debate regarding this development but he was not ready uh, later uh, two instances uh, udf candidate was forced to respond uh, as of now he was forced to respond regarding the uh, issues of development on the funds first instance uh, his response was that uh, in every gram panchayat they are having the main branches of kerala state financial enterprises ksfe and uh, in every zone they have they are having state bank of india's uh, zone uh, branches and uh, other than that um, uh, later on uh, he had added like every village uh, we are having village offices this was his first response and thus uh, all over the co- cross section of the constituency not only the constituency or the all over the malayalis had listened what was the initial response of udf can right regarding the core issue of development the second instance was that he was talking about this uh, virology institute and the kote medical college and the actual thing regarding the virology institute that kudupalli does not have a virology institute yet now the uh, virology institute is actually located in alappura district and regarding the kote medical college uh, it was uh, laid the stone was laid down and inaugurated during the college days of our former cm this was the two instances he wa- he responded to the development and now as a part uh, he is talking uh, while talking with you he had uh, shared an example regarding the rajiv gandhi institute of technology yes it is true that the foundation stone, wa- stone was laid uh, during the udf tenure uh, uh, it is a fact but later uh, several years uh, it had worked on a rented uh, building near vellur uh, i think it was near jts there is a junior technical school uh, still it's working in uh, pambadi near uh, near pa- in pambadi gram panchayat uh, near vellu uh, and after during the tenure of uh, ek nayana uh, ek nayana regime the left front came to power in kerala during that instance uh, i think comrade uh, tk ramachandran was uh, another minister from kottayam uh, with his pressure during the regime of uh, comrade ek nayana government they had allotted more, nearly 15 crore for an independent building and all it was during the pressure of that ldf government that the person uh rajiv gandhi institute has been grown up to the present level and even during this instance uh, i think an year before the present ldf government had allotted new courses had allotted new uh, buildings for the hostel and for the education block so uh, it is uh, actually it is baseless remark regarding the uh, citing ex- uh, citing the example of r r r it jake uh, one more thing is uh, you you are aware of the controversy surrounding the chief minister and chief minister's daughter do you think that will be an issue that will affect the by by elections it is not the controversies works here it is the uh, case of development works here uh, because uh, if you, if you are going to talk about the controversies there were several controversies uh, several baseless controversies happened in kerala it was also raised by the main the same main leadership of the united democratic front uh, some some months back you might have been knowing that uh, the shaja sheikh uh, he is having a um, financial status of uh, higher uh, financial status of highest than the gdp of kerala, mm-hmm. kerala. and the U- udf had raised a um, allegation like uh, he had came to kerala and uh, he had uh, he has been offered by he was being offered by the cm for a bracelet of gold mm. uh, like uh, eight or nine grams and all this was the uh, former allegation raised by them and the uh, other allegation was that um, the smuggling has been happened uh, through quran uh, the smuggling has been happened Dates. through trades likewise uh, several baseless allegation has been raised by the udf and now it is uh, regarding the uh, 
daughter of cm so basically what he is trying to say is that uh, these are not issues that will affect that are affecting the common public but it is the real developmental issues that is going to be exactly. the major talking point in this elections exactly the here the core issue is uh, development nothing else okay. not controversies okay. uh, the people are also responding to the uh, development issues happened over here during the 53 years of this constituency okay. jake and final question is this is the third time that you will be contesting from pudupalli uh, constituency and uh, in 2021 you brought down uh, congress candidate umman chandi's uh, vote margin by a huge percentage but do you think the sympathy wave this time around is a cause of concern for you uh, no i had initially stated that that's why we had uh, uh, make a public remark at the initial stage itself this is not regarding an individual fight uh, or the sympathetic wave for an individual or someone else the core issue should the, this constituency should have to debate is regarding the development issue what are the challenges being faced by the people of pudupalli the people of kerala and during the 53 years of the congress regime what has what has been happened in pudupalli and uh, during the left regimes in kerala what had happened in pudupalli citing the examples of the pudupalli government higher secondary school to the family health care centers for to to the taluk hospitals the development happened to these institutions during the left front regime and the during the 53 years uh, what all things happened during the udf regime let the people uh, discuss and decide uh, which front they should have to opt thank you so much for talking to the news minute jake thank you.